Welcome to Unit 1. It's called Appearance. And today we are dealing with Lesson 3. I used to be a river. My name's Alexandra, and today we are working together. Communicative area of the lesson includes talking about changes. Active vocabulary of the lesson is shoulder length. And active grammar of the lesson includes the construction use to plus infinitive, affirmative and negative statements. So then, let's start. First of all, let's talk about your past. How many true sentences can you make with the phrases below? Let's look at the example. When I was younger, I looked different. When I was younger, I wore different clothes. Think about your sentences. Now, look through the email letter Jan got from his friend. Who are the kids in the photos? Let's read the email letter together. Hi, Jan. I hope you found the photo album and everything is going to be okay with your school project. The photograph I'm sending was taken four years ago. Of course, we look very different today, but I haven't changed much. As you can see, I used to have longer hair, but I've had it short since my 10th birthday. I think I used to look like a little girl, but now I'm much taller and stronger. The photo album and everything is going to be okay with your school project. The photograph I'm sending was taken four years ago. Of course, we look very different today, but I haven't changed much. As you can see, I used to have longer hair, but I've had it short since my 10th birthday. I think I used to look like a little girl, but now I'm much taller and stronger. Rosie has changed a lot. She used to be short and fat. Now she looks much fitter. Her hair used to be curly and she used to have a shoulder length, and now it's longer. And she didn't used to have freckles too. Now, when she gets untanned, millions of them appear. She used to be a lovely girl and behave really well, but two years ago, after she took up playing hockey, things have changed. She used to be an ideal sister, so amusing and fun, but now she is really boring. We used to go roller skating and watch horror films together. All she can talk about now is boys and shopping, and she's only ten. So, read the philosophical poem I've written. What do you think about it? I used to be a river, but now I'm an ocean. I used to be bread, but now I'm toast. I used to be letters, but now I'm a poem. I used to have a sister, but now I have a mass. She used to be a fish, but now she is a shark. I used to be her friend, but now her friend is no one. P.S. The second picture is rosy now. Bye, Nick. Who are the kids in the photos? They're Jan's friend, Nick and Rosie, Nick's sister. Now, look at the letter again and answer the questions below. Did Nick have longer hair when he was younger? Yes, he did. Does he have it long now? No, he doesn't. Was Rosie short and fat? Yes, she was. Is she short and fat now? No, she isn't. Did Rosie have freckles when she was little? No, she didn't. Does she have them now? Yes, she does. Now, let's answer the questions about grammar below. Let's answer them using Russian. Давайте обсудим эти вопросы на русском языке. Итак, первый вопрос. Когда мы используем структуру use to plus infinitive? 
К какому времени относится предложение с used to? Как образуются отрицательные и вопросительные предложения? Как переводится предложение с конструкцией used to? Что нужно вписать в таблицу вместо цифр 1, 2 и 3? Обратите внимание на таблицу вверху справа. Давайте же обсудим вопросы. Структуру used to plus infinitive мы используем, когда нам необходимо описать ситуацию, которая была, имела место в прошлом, но на сегодняшний день не является таковой. На сегодняшний день ситуация изменилась. Все предложения с конструкцией used to, будь то они утвердительные, отрицательные или вопросительные, разницы не играет, имеют отношение к прошлому. Past. Если утвердительное предложение мы формируем с помощью конструкции used to plus infinitive, и все предложения с конструкцией used to относятся к прошедшему времени, ко времени past, то в отрицательных предложениях и в вопросительных нам необходимо использовать вспомогательный глагол прошедшего простого времени, а именно did. Напоминаю, что вспомогательный глагол did забирает в себя прошедшую форму от основного смыслового глагола и таким образом от конструкции used to также. И после did нам необходимо использовать конструкцию used to. Все предложения с данной конструкцией будут переводиться как «раньше что-то бывало» или «просто бывало». Это наши привычные действия в прошлом. Возвращаемся к нашей таблице. Под номером 1 нам необходимо вписать слово «infinitive». infinitive. Под номером 2 нам необходимо вставить вспомогательный глагол did. did. В вопросах он занимает первое место. И под номером 3 нам необходимо вставить конструкцию use to. Так как мы под номером 2 в вопросе вставили did, который забрал в себя прошедшую форму, под номером 3 мы вставляем use to. И used to. С окончанием именно ed мы вставляем только в утвердительных предложениях. В отрицательных и вопросах появляется вспомогашка did. Now let's continue. Find more sentences about the past in Nick's letter. Are any of them true for you? Now look at the box and write the sentences with used to or didn't use to constructions. Let's look at the example, the first sentence. We lived in Minsk, now we live in Polotsk. The correct sentence is we used to live in Minsk. Let's check the others. The second one. We don't have a car. We sold it last summer. We used to have a car. He took up driving a year ago. He didn't used to go diving. I've got some tent, so I don't look pale now. I didn't used to be suntanned. Or, I used to look pale. Yesterday my brother learned to boil potatoes. My brother didn't used to know how to boil potatoes. Number six. She doesn't have shoulder length hair now. It's grown very long. She used to have shoulder length hair. Number seven. I saw an alien last night. Now I believe in aliens. I didn't used to believe in aliens.
Now work in pairs. Read another philosophical poem by Nick. Can you complete it? Let's listen and check your ideas. Unit 1. Lesson 3. Exercise 4B. I used to play outside, but now I'm reading inside. I used to be a flower, but now I am a garden. I used to look sweet, but now I look handsome. I used to be nothing, but now I am a man. Listen to the recording again and check your ideas. Unit 1. Lesson 3. Exercise 4B. I used to play outside, but now I'm reading inside. I used to be a flower, but now I am a garden. I used to look sweet, but now I look handsome. I used to be nothing. But now I am a man. Now, write at least one sentence about changes. Use your imagination. The example for you. I used to be a tree, but now I am a forest. When you finish this exercise, send it to a teacher. And for today, guys, that's all. Thank you very much for your participation. I wish you to have a good day. Bye-bye.